Greetings, everybody. Um, this is Eric. I uh, I'm done with doing the the Light Wolf uh, name uh, as far as announcing myself. I was using that because I cre I came up with the brand uh, that I could market and so that I could keep my personal name separate from like my weird spiritual stuff. Well, I don't think it's weird, obviously, but some people would, and potentially employers and what, whatever, but I don't even care anymore. I'm on God's team, and I am just following, following his word. So here we go. So it's, it's going to be Eric from now on, and I'm probably going to end up having less channels and just having it all as one channel. I'm sorry, I got a lot of different things that I like to talk about. Today what we're going to talk about is what you may have heard, you may have seen reference from some people. This is a um, this is a prophecy that I got from the Lord. Uh, two prophecies, but w the major one and then there's a minor one. Okay, so on... And also, I'm not sure if there's a difference between a prophecy and a prophetic word. I'm kind of just using words that I heard other people on YouTube using. So if I'm wrong in my usage, let me know in the comments. Like I said, uh, here's the first one. So 12.10, I mean 12.9, so in other words, December 9th, the Lord said to me, the new political parties will be filled with prophets and judges, just like in the time of Deborah. Now, I was watching... Um, Flashpoint, I think is the name of the program, on the Victory Channel on YouTube. And uh, Reverend Hank, I can't remember his last name, and then uh, Walnow, those were two prophetic prophets or something. And, uh, and I really like them. I'm just not sure how to designate everybody, but I think they were speaking prophecies that the Lord had given them. And in between what they were saying, the Lord was sharing with me, fill in the blank, you know, stuff to fill in the blank between what they were saying. So, so this came from something that, that they were saying, and the Lord said, I think it was Hank uh, said that, Kuhneman, Hank Kuhneman said that um, uh, the current, the Democrat and Republican parties weren't necessarily going to exist anymore after this year, and God's going to, Put his own parties in place and that's when the holy spirit spoke to me and said the new political parties will be filled with prophets and judges just like in the time of deborah okay so the very next day um the lord gave me this long long prophetic word and so i'm going to read it to you it's kind of dire and it's aimed at the church it's aimed at the body of christ the people who should know better so without further ado, here we go. God said, Those who will kill my people will suffer, either young or old. Those who will murder my children will pay the ultimate penalty. Those who support abortion will suffer, and those who support those who support abortion will suffer even more, for they should know better. My people, my chosen, are held to a higher standard. How do you think this makes the Lord thy God look? When you spit on my chosen anointed one, Donald John Trump, but welcome with open arms, Absalom of the New Age. This Biden that you worship, have, you have been deceived. Does not my word say thou shalt not murder? Haven't I told you this time and time again? I tell you this day before Christmas, many who have claimed to be one of mine, but have defied my will by supporting child sacrifice, even unknowingly, because my prophets have already been telling you these things for years, will be taken off this earth. My love for my children is never ended, and it saddens me that I must have to take drastic measures to discipline in these ways. But, O oh, thou perverse and wretched generation, when wilt thou learn? When wilt thou listen? Does not my spirit I sent to live inside you counsel you in these things? Haven't I warned you enough that you still claim to love me, but instead defy me anyway? 
But my love and my grace abounds, and those who will repent sincerely and turn from their wicked ways will receive another chance, another chance to do it right. My son was not believed or respected in his hometown, and those people and their generations after that did still deny him suffered. Famine, crops withered, pestilence, disease, these were their meat that they did sup from daily for generations until they were scattered to the wind. Do not let this happen to you. This is your last chance to repent. Do not think that I have come to destroy the earth, for I tell you, the earth will still be here long after you have shuffled this mortal coil. No, I have come this time and this place in time in your history to trouble the waters. The walls of Jericho will fall, the Red Sea will be parted, and Nineveh will repent or face my wrath. Everything is mine, saith the Lord. You own nothing. Everything you have, you have gotten from me. Why makest thou a garment of leather from paper shreds? Do you not know that the rain will wash away this pretense? O oh, heed my warning, people of Israel, people of the book, followers of my son whom I sent to pay for your sins. Not only will Pharaoh's army be swallowed up by the ocean, but those who attached themselves to him and supported him and voted for him, and supported or did not object to his doings, though they knew it wrong, they will fall too. The army of those operating in the darkness for the evil one, the dark lord of pretense, who know that abortion is not like, but is exactly child sacrifice, they will be cast into the fiery furnace of hell. Their darkness will be revealed, and my light will shine upon the whole world to see who scurries like vermin and roaches. Then they will be stomped. I will smack down those who have kept my children in bondage with their evil sorcery for so long. Free will does not get trampled, and vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Yes, I talk about myself in the third party if it will make you pay attention better. The sorcerers of mammon are that which you call the media or mainstream media. I will hunt and trap the fox. I will pluck the evil feather of the peacock. I will gouge out the eye of the cyclops, and those papers who print falsehoods will go up in flames. Do you not think I can create another Christmas miracle? President Trump is your president in this country I helped found. It was on my name that your constitution and declarations were written. This was to ensure that the values that you hold true would not be overrun and usurped by anti-patriot despots. We will rise again. My people with my leadership will once again be a shining beacon of light for the world. The, 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 the darkness will be put down. The light will rise. Take heed. Repent. Stop watching the mainstream media. Search out the truth with your heart. Ask my spirit to show you the truth and anyone and, 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 and the truth and who else I have chartered for my purposes of a new generation of soldiers of light. Many more like this will come speaking truth. Will you answer the call or will you turn them away? The great revival of mine is coming. Be thou one who sings. And that's the end of the of the word. So, I'm going to ask you what you have to show them when you go, oh, you sound them, but they're going to show them, but they're going to show them when you go to Jesus. Amen. Uh, so, that's the whole thing, guys. Um, it's kind of important that you share this with, um, you know, your churches and, and pastors and Christian, any Christians that you know that are hardcore Christians. Share this with them. I'm trying to make this page, I built this from scratch, this is a WordPress. Uh, website of mine, ericheffley.com. And if you go to ericheffley.com slash freedom, um, I've got these channels that are speaking truth out there. Uh, there's many more to come, but these are all I was able to put out so far. So hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything else you think should be on this page, and I'll, I'll try to get it up. Um, God loves you. I love you. Bless you, and have a great day.